Hey, world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we'll practice a specific question type. Now, these questions, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice after our session today, I will point you in the direction of my website where I have tons of video lessons just for you. The focus for this week is drum roll. Get ready. It's graphic response item display time. And let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here's your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Then when you're ready to continue, press play to check your work. Welcome back fifth grade. So this one says that Timothy runs one and five eighths miles on Friday and one and a half miles on Saturday. Plot a point to represent the approximate total distance he runs when he combines the two distances. So we're combining Friday's total with Saturday's to find the total. So we need to do which operation? Add them, right? Okay, so we have one and five eighths plus one and a half. Well, the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, kind of use my number line here to estimate a little bit. So I'm seeing that this would be one, I could add the two whole numbers together. So that would be one, two, right? And then I know that five eighths is really close to my benchmark fraction of four eighths right there. So it's really close to that, it's just a little bit larger. So if I go just a little bit, it'll be two and a half, plus that additional half would be going all the way to three. So I know it's probably just a little bit past my three right there. That's estimating using benchmark fractions, okay? So, but to be certain of where it's going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and add these officially down here. So I see denominators that are not matching, so I'm going to find the least common denominator of each, of eight and of two. Let me count by eights a couple times. And I know that two is gonna get there with the eight. So our least common denominator, our match is eight. When I rewrite those fractions with a denominator of eight, looks like that. One and five eighths, nothing needs to change because we're keeping that denominator of eight. But for one and a half, one and one half, I multiply by four. Two times four equals that denominator of eight. Same on the bottom, same on the top. So that would be one and four eighths. Okay, so now I can add these two whole numbers. That would equal two wholes. And when I add the fractions 5 eighths and 4 eighths, I get 9 eighths, which looks funny. So let me decompose 9 eighths into 8 eighths plus 1 eighth. 8 eighths is the same as one whole, so that would be 2 plus 1, which equals 3. 3 and 1 eighth. So just past it, which is actually like just where I put my little mark up there now that I'm looking. Right here, this is broken into 1, 2, 3, 4 equal parts. So what I need to do is kind of mentally is to divide each of those fourths in half and that will give me eight equal parts. So three and one eighth would be right there, okay? So again, I used estimation. I used benchmark fractions to help me with that one and then I found the exact sum. So pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. When you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Before we go, as always, let me remind you that Practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to dedicate
dedicate time to practice and you've got to put in your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye.